Hey, I did a couple of videos recently. The first one was about the miscarriage that I had around a month ago. It was really emotional and really big and it was not long after it happened. And I felt the need to share it, to talk about it, so that I could continue in my authenticity, so I can continue being myself, but also I didn't know who that was gonna be and how I was gonna move forward in my business. I'm a relationship and a love coach and I knew this had shifted me and changed me so much. I just felt a calling that I had to talk about it. And then I did a second video speaking about what had kind of happened since then and the healing that I was doing from long ago when I lost my dad, how that had impacted me in my life or the fact that it had impacted me. And now I'm at a completely different place and I feel that this is equally as important to share as talking about the miscarriage in the first place, as talking about the deep healing involved in it, that grieving is essential and that also there's a deeper healing that is being called as well. Whenever something tragic happens, whenever something blows up that we didn't choose, that we didn't want, then it's an opening. It splits us open and we have this opportunity to bring in so much light so much goodness, so much richness, learning, lessons, joy. Now that I'm in a completely different place, after having done so much deep healing, so much smaller, gentle healing, and being paying a much deeper attention to myself and being, quote, both introspective and also observant as to what is going on around me and how my internal world is impacting that, I've changed. I want to tell you the story. A beautiful neighbor came up to visit me um, a few times. And this last time she came up to see how I was, she'd also experienced miscarriage and known other people very close to her who had also. And she was like, you know, I just wanted to see how you are. And I said, you know what? I'm good. I'm really good. And both Phil and I are doing really well. And she was sort of like almost looking at me like, it's okay to say if you're not feeling good and are you really okay? And looking at me, she was like, you do look really well. <laughs> and I said, I am, I'm really well. And she said, ah. Oh. And I said, well, I'm in a really unique position. I work with emotions every single day. I support other people to work with emotions, which also helps me. And I had this whole community of healers, of coaches, of people who are aware and open to me expressing and supporting me. And because of that, I was able to not only move through this incredibly painful time really quickly, I'm also better than I was before. And I feel a bit shaky almost saying that because it feels like when this thought had come up in the last week or so, I've almost felt guilty about that. Like, is it okay? Is it okay for me to be better now than I was before this huge terrible thing happened that I didn't choose and I didn't want is that okay and it kind of almost felt like it wasn't and that it was expected of me to be either hiding my emotion and getting on with things and and pretending but not really being okay or just not being okay I just wanted to talk about this and to say do you know what when you really deeply move through what is available to you and everything, not just the grief around whatever trauma has happened, but the grief that is attached to that particular incident that has happened, when you clear those, you take that opportunity to really open up and you let all of this beautiful light in that maybe you didn't let in at those younger times in your life when they had the opportunities and you didn't have the... You didn't have the support, you didn't have the skills, you didn't have the knowledge, you didn't have the awareness to tap into it then. And that's what it was like for me. Phil and I were at a friend's place on the weekend and I heard him say that. Like they said, you know, how are you doing? How, how is it, how's it going? Like, you know, this has been really rough. And he said, you know what? It has been really rough, but we are better now than we were before. And hearing him say that, I was just like, it's so true. We are, we are better now. And actually that is okay. That is okay and that is what's available to us. That is the opportunity that we have is to be better now than we were before even though we wouldn't choose this and we wouldn't choose it to happen again. But it just feels like a blessing. It feels like such a blessing that our baby who we named Soraya came into our lives for this such short amount of time and brought us so many blessings and she opened our hearts and she 
brought us greater connection with each other and greater connection from me to me and from Phil to Phil. It's a really beautiful thing. And so I, I wanted to share this message that if you have had grief or you've had trauma or you've had pain, yes, it takes time. It takes as much time as you need personally. The healing that goes along with that allows you to open up in new ways. And so don't expect your life to be over because your life is not over. Your life as you knew it, <laughs> that's over. But we're always changing and we're always growing. And when different things happen to us, we do completely let go of certain parts of us and we do move on in entirely new ways. And so it's about grieving that loss that's so important and then opening up to the new. I hope this video was supportive, was helpful, was nourishing to you. If it triggered you in any way, or if you're going through something similar like a miscarriage or grief or loss, I'm just sending you so much love. It is a very, very, very hard time. When you just keep going through it, you will get there. And be open to the light that's coming in because there is a lot of it. There is a lot of it. And that's okay. That's okay for you to receive. It feels hard when something so painful happens to allow the beauty and the, and the blessings to come in and then opening up to the new. Uh, I really hope this helps somebody out there because I think it's not talked about enough. The, the joy, the magic, the beauty, the blessings that come from pain. And if it has, I'd love to hear from you.